In today's topic, I would be very humble to shed some lights on the severity and the seriousness of inheritance. So let's cast a glance at a couple of aspects. The first is that all the ears become shareholders automatically by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Its possession never ever relies on the execution or permission of anyone in the world. The first aspect is that all the heirs become shareholders in inheritance automatically by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and its possession never ever relies on the execution or permission of anyone in the world. We think that father passed away and mother is alhamdulillah alive then how can the brothers or sisters or ourselves can be the shareholders and the entire family waits for the death of mother if she dies passes away then we muster our courage that we will be shareholders in the stage of father that is against the concept of inheritance in Islam the moment a person passes away all the heirs become shareholders this is what is mentioned in the glorious Quran Surah An-Nisa ayah number 11 Faridatan min Allah an obligation by Allah it means that we ourselves don't have any option to delay the distribution to make someone honor and deprive someone wait for the mother's permission to start the distribution the second aspect is that if anyone tries to deprive anyone of his share it will lead him directly to hell in one sentence we can say that to do anything wrong for the deprivation of any ear of his share will lead a person to hell Whatever may be the way, whatever may be the means to deprive someone. In today's contemporary era, people try to do something due to that a child whom he doesn't like will be deprived of his share. Or the daughter whom he or she doesn't like will be deprived of her share. Anyway, the moment he tries to do so, the ibadat, the worship of his or her entire life will be in vain. The beloved Prophet is reported to have said, Inna rajul la ya'mal wal mar'atu bi ta'atillah sitteena sanatan ثُمَّ يَحْضُرُهُمَ الْمَوْتِ فَيُضَارَّانِ فِي الْوَصِيَّةِ فَتَجِبُ لَهُمُ النَّارِ Indeed, a man and a woman perform deeds in obedience to Allah. Then death presents itself to them. And they cause detriment in the will. Consequently, the fire is 
warranted for them. Hadith Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala who narrated this hadith. It is in Tirmidhi Sharif, Kitab al Wasaya, chapters on Wasaya, wills. After he narrated, he recited the half part or the last part of ayah number 12th and 13th of Surah Al Nisa. And the beloved Prophet is further reported to have said, Whosoever flees from the inheritance of his heir, Allah will deprive him of his share in inheritance in paradise on the day of resurrection. Ibn Majah, Kitab al Chapters of Mills. These are the aspects about which we have to be very clear that anyone should not be deprived and especially women. That is more grave, more serious. Dear brothers, the obligation of inheritance is so serious that even if a child of a person is born after his death, then also he will be given a share in it. When father passed away, he was not here. He was not born. He was in the wombs of his mother. But when he comes in this world, he comes into existence, he becomes automatically heir of his father and he is given Shia. Similarly, there is a confusion. People normally say, we give huge amount of money, we spend huge amount of money, wealth, at the time of the marriage of our daughters. Then how can we give shares in our inheritance? Or how should so deserve or demand a spending lakhs of rupees, millions of rupees sometimes. Even sometimes I myself heard from a friend of mine that I'll give to her whatever is possible for me on the occasion of marriage and that is all for what she deserves. This is very important point that even a person has spent gold, silvers as much as is available in this earth. A spends crores of rupees on the marriage of his daughter. But after he passes away, after he dies, suppose there is only one single rupee. This daughter, on the marriage of whom he has spent, such a huge amount of money, again she will be given share. The, what we should do? We should never think to deprive our daughters by any way, and we should not be unwise to spend unnecessary money or to squander, to be extravagant with our wealth, it means that whenever we pass away, our daughters will be equally deserving our wealth. Even if we leave, even, even, even a needle. This is clearly mentioned in the glorious Quran. As Hazrat Thanvi Rahmatullah has written, and what we witness here in our lives, if the amount of money is 
is small, the quantity is less, some particular pieces of clothes are there after the death of anyone, we don't feel it necessary to divide and distribute. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order is that whatever a person lives, whatever may be the quantity, it should be distributed. This is what is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, ayah 7. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا تَرَكَ الْوَالِدَانِ وَالْأَقْرَبُونَ وَلِلنِّسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا تَرَكَ الْوَالِدَانِ وَالْأَقْرَبُونَ مما قل منه أو كثر نصيبا مفروضا. For many share of what the parents and the close relatives leave, and for women is share of what the parents and the close relatives leave. Let it be little or much. A necessary share. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has demolished our misconception that the amount which was left after the death of our father, grandfather, mother, whomsoever he may be, is very little. Why to distribute? Let me take without any information, without prior consent. This is not allowed. Even a needle, very little amount, or the thing of very, very small, ordinary worth, if it is found after death, it should be distributed. After being very open, very friendly, if all the heirs say that not a matter, you can use it. Father has left this cap, this shirt, these shoes, we all are happy and pleased that all these should be with you. And we witness, we make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala witness that we don't have any sort of, any sort of pain for that. We all are happy that you should enjoy all these things. Then only a, a person can use. Otherwise, each and everybody shares equally. This is to be considered.